All right, so y'all, this is a problem out of 2.8. And so what we're trying to do here, we're trying to use the graph to find uh, the following expressions. Okay, so it has four parts here. It says, let's find f plus g of negative 2. Okay, let's do this in pieces, y'all. The way we're going to do this is we're going to find first f of negative 2, and then we're going to find g of negative 2, and we're going to add those together. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this, y'all, <clears throat> I'll do this in two ways. So f is going to be our blue picture, okay? So I'm going to go here to negative 2. Oops, sorry. Go here to negative 2, and I'm going to go up until I hit my graph. So when I go up, y'all, and I hit my graph, that number there is going to be 4, okay? I'm going to do the same thing for g. g is my purple one. Let me see if I can get a purple type of thing looking here. Boom, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go to negative 2 again, sorry. And I'm going to go down, and when I hit my graph, that's going to be a negative 2, okay? So let's come back. Okay, so 4 plus negative 2, y'all, this is going to be a positive 2, okay? So there's my first part. Let's do part B, y'all. Part B says, let's find f minus g of negative 1. So the way I'm going to do this, y'all, I'm going to go f of negative 1 minus g of negative 1. So let me walk you through the process again, okay? <clears throat> So I'm going to go to negative 1. Okay, here is negative 1. If I go up to hit my function f, that's going to be at the number positive 1. Now, I'm going to do the same thing here. Look, here's negative 1. I'm going to go down until I hit my function g. Boom. That is a negative 3. But minus and minus, y'all, become plus. So 1 plus 3 is going to give me a 4. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do the next part, y'all. Let's do part C. So part C says, let's find f times g of 0. The way I'm going to do this, y'all, I'm going to find f of 0, and I'm going to multiply it by g of 0. So f of 0 says, look, y'all, I'm going to go right here at 0. And if I do that, I'm already hitting my f graph. I'm already hitting the blue graph right here. So that's going to be 0 times g of 0. Look, y'all, I'm going to go down when I hit my graph that's going to be negative 4. But 0 times negative 4 is still going to leave me with 0, okay? And there is a part D, so let's go ahead and do part D. So part D says, let's find f divided by g of negative 1. The way I'm going to do this, y'all, I'm going to go f of negative 1 divided by g of negative 1, okay? So look, f of negative 1, <clears throat> there's negative 1. I'm going to go up, y'all. That's going to give me a 1 up there. g of negative 1, y'all. Let's come back and let's do g. So here's negative 1. Let's go down. Boom. Negative 3. So this, y'all, is just going to give me a negative 1 third. It's supposed to be a 3. Let's fix that. Negative 1 over 3, and we are done. Okay? If y'all have any questions, please let me know, guys. I'm happy to help, okay?